Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, I'm Lucy Breakwell and I'm presenting on the behalf of CDC because some of our OCD activities cover several groups. Uh, so under the vaccination pillar, um, these are some of the activities we've been doing during 2021. Uh, Tom Hansel's group under the Division of Global Health Protection has um, been supporting the OCV and WASH baseline coverage survey in Zanzibar. And my group, which is in the Global Immunization Division in the second box, um, we've been providing technical assistance for cholera hotspot review in DRC. We've been working with uh, WHO, CSP and MMGH uh, to um, develop training to improve OCV campaign effectiveness and timeliness. And we've also been working on uh, describing the impact of the pandemic on OCV campaign implementation with Malika and are supporting IFRC with uh, OCV social mobilization program across Africa. And so I'll be talking about the first three activities um, that we've listed here. So for the Zanzibar coverage survey, this is the initial attempt to integrate OCV and WASH in a post-coverage vaccination survey. It was a collaboration between the Ministry of Health, CDC and WHO, with the objectives of estimating oral cholera vaccine coverage and creating a baseline WASH coverage estimates in three districts. The OCV coverage survey required 40 clusters of 30 households to fulfill the sample size calculations, which are shown in the table. And um, they over, um, oversampled three districts by adding 27 clusters to have enough power to provide wash estimates at the district level, targeting the three districts on Nguja. They expanded the data collection tool to include additional wash and community engagement questions did testing for free residual chlorine at the household level, but did not do a community wash assessment. The training and data collection were done in the second half of November, and um, they had very low non-response rate. And 1,900 households were visited in eight districts in Zanzibar overall, with the results currently pending. In terms of the work that my team have been doing, um, we've been providing technical assistance for cholera hotspot review in DRC, and this is part of CDC's multi-center approach to control cholera. Um, so all of the different groups are providing support um, to FENCOL, and this is just the specific area that we're working on. And um, through this, we're hoping to help them identify cholera hotspots using the GTFCC method, as well as trying to incorporate space-time analysis. We're looking to identify and review other data sources, such as line list, laboratory data, and provincial surveillance data that would include um, rapid diagnostic test results that could inform the hotspot review, but also inform the quality of surveillance data, and hope to conduct a descriptive analysis kind of looking at um, the original hotspots that were identified previously and how the, where the cases are being reported relate to that. The other main area we're working on, as I mentioned, was improving OCV campaign effectiveness and timeliness. And um, WHO had noticed that there was an increased number of delayed and lower quality reactive OCV requests, which were leading to less impactful campaigns and ultimately inefficient use of limited OCV doses. And so in partnership with WHO, uh, including WHE, IBB and AFRO, um, the country support platform, ourselves and MMGH Consulting, um, and funded through CDC Foundation, Gavi and CDC, as well as CSB. And um, we are developing and implementing a training curricula for OCV requests and campaign implementation. And we hope that this will um, end up being two five-day in-person trainings, which we're planning for um, Q1 and Q2 in 2022 which would include theoretical and practical components. And just to go into a bit more detail on this, we're designing it for individuals who are likely to lead or be part of the discussion making regarding inclusion of OCV in cholera control activities or who may coordinate an OCV campaign. It's to be combined in person and virtual. And really it's designed to increase capacity to conduct a risk assessment to inform OCV inclusion in prevention and control activities in emergency contexts, develop requests for emergency campaigns and plan campaigns, 
participate in the preparation and implementation of OCB campaigns, to define strategies for monitoring and evaluation of OCB campaigns, and to introduce the inclusion of OCP in national cholera plans. So looking to 2022, um, we plan to implement the ongoing 2021 activities, including the training workshops and uh, hopefully finish the manuscript to um, Continue to support the DRC OCB activities as well as the IFRC activities. And um, what we'd like to move into a bit more is supporting activities on the prioritization of cholera hotspots for OCB use and um, continue to monitor and evaluate OCB campaigns, including some of the things we've been talking about, WASH and OCB integration, safety, coverage, cost, effectiveness. Yeah. Um, we aim to expand the country-specific support for OCB as part of the CDC multi-center initiative. Thank you very much. <laughs>